sniping in Battlefield 2016 or Battlefield 5. What do I want from it? And hopefully at the end of this video, you guys will be able to tell me what you guys want from sniping in Battlefield 2016. So I'm basically just going to be talking about the one hit kill ranges, balance, sniper mechanics, and everything. But before you get into this video, just like say, subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield and everything Battlefield 2016, Battlefield 5, whatever it's called. Now, pretty much in Battlefield 4, all the snipers felt similar or within a little bit of each other. Like They all had similar one hit kill ranges, they all had similar fire rates within, I'd say like 35 to around 51 rounds per minute. But something I'm going to be focusing on in this video is what Battlefield Hardline did with sniper balance. Now, I have to give credit to Hardline because they didn't include too many snipers. I'm pretty sure they had like five or six snipers at launch. But they were able to balance these snipers in an individual way so they each really had their own role. So there's the Scout Elite, the extremely fast rate of fire sniper rifle, but it was a high skill weapon. If you missed your first shot against someone, it was really hard to come back especially in close quarters but if you were able to hit that headshot this weapon could be absolutely awesome and it was really that medium long range sniper rifle that wasn't a one hit kill up close but it was a one shot headshot at all range and that is key because the scout elite in battlefield 4 did 38 minimum damage nobody is going to use a sniper that's not a one hit kill at long range all snipers need to be one hit kills at long range so at least have a minimum damage of 50. That is my first thing that they need to include in this. And the second thing is to again like I said vary up sniper damage models. You'll have your snipers that are one hit kills at around 12 to 15 meters and they are all around good snipers. They have decent fire rates, decent muzzle velocities, low bullet drop, but they're not going to be as good in close quarters as for example a sniper that is a one hit kill out to 30 meters and I think we should have snipers that are one hit kills out to 30 meters in Battlefield 5 because it just allows the developers to vary up the sniper gameplay so that for example when a sniper comes in DLC it's not just the same as all the other snipers in the game like if you look at the CS5 it didn't really offer anything new whereas I think the CS5 maybe should have had a slower fire rate but it should have had a one hit kill range out to 20 meters because that would have given you a reason to use it, even though the weapon is bad at range because of the built-in suppressor and the bad muzzle velocity, but in close quarters it could hold its own because of that extra one-hit kill range. Now in addition to that, we need to get rid of the 100 meter zeroing. That is just the stupidest thing they added into the game. I don't get why they would add that, because anyone can just move the zeroing up to 100 meters, but you don't have to make it the default. Why? Like... It's just so stupid. Why would they change the zeroing from zero to 100 meters? It's just completely stupid. I have no clue why they would do that. And if it's in the next Battlefield game, I will be really mad because, yes, they should give 100 meters as an option, which they actually didn't have when the game launched. The minimum zeroing after zero was 200 meters. But if they just added in 100 meters, that would be okay. Even if they made it the default, that would be fine. But the fact that they don't let you change back to zero is just completely ludicrous and stupid. So we need to get rid of the 100 meter zeroing as well. And when it comes to the marksman's bonus, this is a bit of a weird topic. So I don't think it should be like it was in Battlefield 4 where you can sit at the back of a map and get 1300 points every single time you snipe a guy at crazy long range. I think you should get a marksman's bonus within 100 meters. So you don't just get that regular 25 bonus for a headshot. You should get a marksman's bonus out to 100 meters. And then anything after that, you shouldn't really get a bonus unless it's on an objective. So you should get an objective sniping bonus. If you're sitting back and you snipe onto an objective, you should get a bonus 50 points in addition to like 100 points if that's the headshot. So basically, you'll get the marksman's bonus points between 50 meters and 100 for what the actual value is so how far away the person is but after 100 meters you'll just continue to get a hundred meter marksman's bonus and it'll tell you how far away the person is but it won't give you the crazy amount of points 
I just think this is better because in Battlefield 4 right now at least, there's no reason to sit back and snipe. You might as well try to quick scope everyone in close quarters because you only get an extra 25 points. And the fact that even if you sit back within 100 meters and snipe onto an objective, you're still helping your team out. It's when people go all the way into their base and just try to snipe the other snipers that are within their base, that's really when it detracts away from the objective play of a recon player. Yeah, so just to recap, I think we should have better sniper variation uh, among one-hit kill range, fire rates, and stuff like that. We should also get rid of the 100 meter zeroing, and we need a better marksman's mechanic for zeroing and just gameplay mechanics and how you get points as a sniper. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe down below for much more content on everything Battlefield 2016, but that's what it was. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.